All right, Alex. Last week, we started a spooky series that will be running the whole month of October. 23 ABC's Callan Hobman will be teaming up with a local ghost hunter to bring you Hobman's haunts. Check it out. Take a look at East Bakersfield High School. From out here, it looks like your average school, but rumor has it that on the inside, spooky spirits walk the hallways. Well, last week, you met Dean of Students Missy Bennett, who doubles as a ghost hunter. She and I teamed up this week to see what we could find inside those doors. What's an actor without a spotlight? These are the lights that shine on East Bakersfield High School stage. And while students are currently learning from home, Dean of Students and ghost hunter Missy Bennett says this auditorium isn't necessarily empty. There was an accident on the stage, or somewhere in this auditorium, I presume the stage, where there was a custodian that was climbing a ladder to fix some lights, and he had fallen from the ladder and there was, was left there for two days and died during that time. Missy says students and staff believe that man's ghost still lives in the auditorium. They've seen the lights flicker on and off, and cheering like an audience was watching a show has been heard, even though the theater was empty. Last week, we asked Missy about these stories, and sure enough, our camera lights turned on and off. And that is going to be really appropriate later. It happened several more times during our interview, so we came back this week to see what we could find. I will always start off with my uh, digital voice recorder. We will record throughout the entire time that we're investigating because we just never know when we're going to catch something, even when, when we're trying or when we're not trying. First, we asked a few questions. So if you're here, can you give us a sign that you're here? I have this device here on the table that has the green light on it, and it's a way for you to communicate with us. We also use an electromagnetic field detector. Give us a sign that you're here. And a thermal radar, but nothing wanted to be seen or heard that day. As with any investigation, we sort of go in hoping that um, something becomes very evident to us, and sometimes that doesn't always work out. So does this mean there isn't a ghost inside these walls? I don't know that there was any proof that took place necessarily, um, one way or the other. Missy says it just might take some more investigating, but it does make you wonder when the students are away, who or what comes out to play.